Harold Payson man is sitting in jail tonight facing serious charges after police say he held an 18 year old woman against her will inside his home. New specialist Ashley Kewish is live in Utah County with how a series of text messages saved this woman. Yeah, that's right, Ashley. Police tell us the woman went to the man's house last night to retrieve some personal belongings, but was then not allowed to leave. At some point, she was able to get out some text messages to a friend, and when those text messages got more disturbing, that friend contacted police. In this part of southern Utah County, tucked away near West Mountain, the picturesque views and the quiet can be expected. For Annette Lyman, it's a good place to raise her six kids. But today... I had no idea what was going on. I was in my kitchen making lunch. That's when she says she heard a commotion just across the street. Outside, dozens of police officers. He saw me and my two children look out the window and he went like this, get away from the window. She estimates an hour went by before officers brought out this man, Nicholas Charles Lippi, a man her family knows well, and a man she says once came to her daughter's aid. One of my daughters had come out by the road and there was a semi coming by and he grabbed her and put her back. Today, Lyman watched as the injured 18-year-old woman came out of the house. She says she recognized her from a run-in at a restaurant about one week ago. I turned around the corner and saw them sitting there. I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing? And they're like, we just got takeout. Lyman says the girl looked relaxed standing next to 41-year-old Lippy. Oh, she was smiley, happy, said hi. Sometime between that casual conversation and today, everything changed. Police say behind this door, something horrible happened. Details not being released yet aggravated because of the nature of some of the other things that happened here. Crime scene tape surrounds this now empty pace and home while many questions remain. He's never done anything or showed any signs of this before. Lippy is now fang, facing rather a first degree felony aggravated kidnapping charge and police tell us that more charges will likely come tomorrow. As for the woman, she was injured, but we're told those injuries are non-life-threatening. Back to you.